You know how to describe a line using a parametric equation. But now we also want to describe planes. That can be done with a parametric equation too. And, as you will see, it resembles the parametric equation of a line a lot. So how does it look? Here we have our plane in R3, the, the red one. We have a factor from the origin to the plane, R0, just as we had with the lines. But now we have a plane, so we have two factors in the plane, u and v. Now, what is the parametric equation of a plane? Well, I can reach any point in the plane by taking r, s and t, two parameters. We can go in two directions. First you go to r0, and then you travel some distance in the u direction and some distance in the v direction. So, for example, if you take u one half and v equal to zero, you get r zero plus one half times u, and we get over here in the plane. And if we would take, for example, s equals zero and t equals one half, we go r zero plus one half times v, so we get somewhere like here. And if you get take combinations, you can get everywhere in the plane. And you see, it really closely resembles the parametric equation of a line, which was exactly like this. I just took out the second term. Now, how does that work in practice if you have, say, three points given? How can you find a parametric equation of a plane? So, here we have the points P, Q, and R. P, 1, 0, 0, Q, 0, 1, 0, and R, 0, 0, 1. How can we find a parametric equation of this plane over here? Well, first of all, we need R, 0. Well, that's always easy. You only need a vector from the origin to a point in the plane. Take, for example, the point P. So we take as, R our, as our R0, 1, 0, 0. And then we need two vectors which are in the plane, say u and v. So we take R0, 1, 0, 0. What about u? u is going from p to q. So we go minus one step in the x direction, one step in the y direction, and zero steps in the z direction. There we have u. What about v? We go minus one step in the x direction, zero steps in the y direction, and one step up, so there we have our vector v. And then, we are done. We have our parametric equation for v, r of s and t, r0 plus s times u plus t times v. There it is. And how can we use it? Well, for example, if we wonder whether the point s, 1, 2, 3, s in v, 1, 2, 3, well, that's somewhere over here. But, well, it's very hard to tell from such a picture whether it's in the plane or not. Well, probably not if you look at the picture, but how can we know it for sure? Well, we can use our parametric equation for that. The question is, can we find values s and t such that r of s and t is exactly equal to uh, 1, 2, 3? So, let's take a look. Well, if we look at the lowest equation, we see we should take t equals 3. And if you take a look at the middle equation, we get 0 plus s plus 0 equals 2. So s has to be equal to 2. But if we look now at the first equation, we get 1 minus s, so minus 1, minus t, so minus 4 equals 1, minus 4 equals 1. That's not true. That means that we cannot find values of s and t such that r of s and t is 1, 2, 3, which means that 1, 2, 3, this point, is not in the plane v. So that's just one example of how you can use a parametric equation of a plane. And as you see, it's not hard at all to find a parametric equation of a plane.